We're gonna break down the last five plays from the Raptors versus Wolves game from Friday night to see what happened in them to allow the Raptors to win this game. But before we get to that, please do subscribe and like this video if you enjoy this content. This play is about the Timberwolves getting Malik Beasley an open three through a misdirection and Siakam's length counteracting that. Uh, let's get into it. Uh, as the play starts off, you see that Stanley Johnson is going to get picked off by Malik Beasley right there, and they are pretending that this is a play for Cat to go to the rim. You can see Fred bite right there, and sure enough, Beasley does get a clean look, but the Raptors defense recovers immediately. You have Siakam covering Beasley with his length, and you have Fred rotating out to the corner in case Beasley decides to pass. Siakam ends up getting the block and he immediately leaks. He's not even in the picture anymore before the Raptors have even gotten the rebound. So the Raptors are looking for transition opportunities even in crunch time. So as you roll this, Davis is bringing the ball up the court and great decision by him to give it up to Norm immediately. The ball moves faster than the man and, and Norm just attacks right away, putting pressure on an already sort of in transition Minnesota defense that doesn't really know who they're guarding right now. When Norm attacks, it forces a split-second decision from Cat on who to guard. He's thinking about Fred and Siakam, and he picks Siakam just a little bit too late. Siakam with the easy dunk. The Timberwolves are looking for Malik Beasley, who is inbounding the ball to get a clean look. But how they get him that look is interesting because they run a misdirection through Cat. Beasley will clear and get to the wing, and Cat will set a screen for DeAndre Bembry. And the fake by the Wolves here is to pretend that this is a play for Ricky Rubio to get open on the left side of the court. Even if that were a play, the Raptors switch here of uh, Johnson on uh, Rubio negates that. But in any case, uh, it does have an effect that Bembry now thinks that Cat might dive, but he doesn't. In this screenshot, you can see that Bembry is looking to the rim and expecting Cat to go to the rim, but realizes that he's setting a screen for Fred now. And that screen happens to be a very poor one. Look at Cat's legs here. Look how much he is stretching just to screen out Fred. His positioning is entirely poor. He needs to be able to give the offensive player the ability to brush the defender off him, but there's just too much space between Cat and the uh, and the offensive player, which is Beasley. So what happens is that Cat needs to stretch his legs to kind of screen out Fred, and the officials see this, they're not idiots. And it's on the replay that you can really tell what uh, he did wrong here. He just sticks his hip out because he knows the way he's positioned is not gonna screen out Fred, so he kind of sticks that out and the officials call that. If you have heard me on other shows on this channel, you know how much I love Pascal Siakam handling the ball and all the benefits it has. Uh, and here, the Raptors make the decision to have him and not Fred bring the ball up the court. And what's funny here is that the Timberwolves try to do something a little tricky. They try to be a little Raptor-esque by doing an early switch. And when, when the screen is set for Pascal, Ricky Rubio is going to try to guard Pascal right here. Unfortunately for many, it's not a great angle by Rubio here because it makes the decision for Pascal to drive quite easily. And here's what makes this play for the Raptors. It's this screen by Stanley Johnson on Davis's man to free him up, which forces a decision by McDaniel to either cover Pascal or to cover Davis. Fortunately for the Raptors, he does neither. And looking back at this play from a mini perspective, you gotta switch much sooner and, that, and not try to fight through that screen because there's no way you're gonna make it to Davis in time by fighting through. You have to switch here. Mini doesn't and Davis gets the clean look and buries it. The Timberwolves go to Malik Beasley on the final play with the game on the line. And this is a poor decision by Beasley at the end of the day, but the Raptors do play some excellent defense. Norm and Fred trap him and use the baseline as the third defender. And what Beasley does here is surprising. Even after Fred backs off here, he has a live dribble available to him. He hasn't used his dribble yet, and there's ample time on the shot clock. So he's got plenty of time to create something out of nothing. Instead, he takes a contested shot with Norm all over him and really bails the Raptors out because the Raptors will take this shot any day. 